I, I know they throw a lot at you here in the first 24, 48 hours, whatever. Uh, how tough is it to, again, kind of adjust to a new playbook, new scheme, new coaches, everything on the fly, and knowing how important this week's going to be for your draft stock? Is it kind of stressful? Yeah, I mean, it's stressful. They, they throw a lot at you. I think, you know, that's kind of the design of the week. I mean, it's kind of a test in that way, but um, for sure, yeah. I mean, we're learning a new offense that we started last night, so less than 24 hours in, learning, learning a new offense, learning a new defense, you know. Right. And, uh, yeah, I mean, uh, I mean, it's a lot to learn, but, you know, it's it's how fast can you pick up on things. And, and when it comes down to it, it's, it's still football. So it's just some some different terminologies maybe, but right. it's still the same game. Is there a specific scheme or anything that you prefer for you, like your skill set that would yeah help maximize your skill set? Maybe at this, if you get to pick and draw it up, what, what kind of scheme or, or uh, yeah, what kind of scheme do you kind of like playing? Yeah. Um, I think I can fit into a bunch of different schemes. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, I think I'm best on the edge mm-hmm. um, as an end, but, you know, I think I can play all over. So, you know, depending on the scheme and depending on uh, uh, what each position is trying to get done, you know, it, it kind of depends. What did you play uh, at the collegiate level uh, specifically? What kind of scheme? Hand in the dirt, uh, stand yeah. up? What, what hand was? in the dirt. Hand yeah. in the dirt? Yeah. and 4-3? Uh, Yep, 4-3. Four, four, three. Three. Yep. Absolutely. All right, have they asked you, talked to you about maybe standing up in a 3-4 if you'd be comfortable doing something like that? Or, um, or not really? No, I mean, some teams say that envision me as standing up or some teams envision me moving down or whatever. Some teams, you know, see me at the same. Uh, every team's got a different opinion, and it's kind of, uh, you know, you got to get up and bend up somewhere first, but I think right. I do all those things, which, right. is, which is awesome. Is there a guy uh, or player at the next level that you just, just enjoy watching or maybe kind of mold your game after a little bit or say, I would like to uh, play like that in yeah. the NFL if I, well, you know, if I could? Yeah, like uh, D- Daniel Hunter. I mean, My he's boy. a beast, yeah. He's and beast. Uh, so, I mean, I like watching him. I mean, he does a lot of good things. He's Absolutely. tough tough as hell, and, uh, you know, he's, he's uh, I mean, he gets after it, and, and he doesn't stop, and he plays a high motor, real tough guy. Yeah, he's like a build a character in Madden, dude. Like, you can't build him any better. Yeah. Have the Vikings talked to you, coach, defensive line coach Andre Patterson? Have any of them talked to you yet? No, no not at this point. Not yet, no. not yet. What, is there something, anything specific you're trying to accomplish when you came down here? Um, you know, try to prove to any, not just coaches and scouts, but like for yourself? as well playing against literally the best competition in, in, in you know the country I don't think there's really too much I'm trying to prove uh, I just came down here because I mean like you said it's a, some of the best college, college players in the country and uh, you know I'm just a competitor so like I'm gonna jump at that opportunity to no play with the best and, and uh, you know push myself and, and to do something like I've never done before so. what's more important in your your opinion the the physical aspect of the game you know strength conditioning weight room all that or the mental aspect talking about film room X's and O's things like that I'd say they're 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 uh, pretty equal both mm-hmm. are both are really important right in, uh, in preparation especially in games um, you know this week's a little different because it's kind of just a hodgepodge of guys but but studying opponents and, and right. figuring out tendencies and things like that is, is very important but then you also have to have the physical, physical tools to execute. So even pretty even, really. Pretty, I mean, even, the yes. balance of, of, yeah. of having both. Um, what uh, kind of a downer question? I gotta ask it. Do you ever think about the safety of the game? You know, the way the the league's changing, the rules are changing, the the longevity of your career, long term health. Does that ever creep in the back of your mind, or you kind of know what you're signed up for? We're playing football. Yeah. It's right, we're gonna, gonna happen. That session, session. Of yeah. Um, I, yeah. Exactly. I mean, it's a violent game. Like injuries are part of it. Um, so that that's the one thing. That sucks about it. His injury is part of it. You know, you work all year, and there's guys that get hurt, and then they can't play. Right. And it sucks, but um, I mean, it just makes it that much more special. Every every time you get to go out there, I mean, it, the time the opportunity is so limited, and you know, football ends for everybody. Right. You know, no matter how good you are, so uh, that that does make it special. Though. Absolutely. Uh, is there uh, certainly helps you not take it for granted? Yeah. Uh, is there a coach and scouts are going to ask you? Is there like a, a, a struggle or something you went through during your life that you learned a lot from? Uh, you got a lot of takeaways from, and you always look back now that the dust has settled on that, whatever it may be. Uh, and and again, maybe you're a stronger, a better person mentally, physically, whatever it may have been. Um, yeah, I would. It's hard to say one one thing. Sure. There's a lot of there's a lot of ups and downs. I mean, yeah. you know, you just got to keep going. And, and and just through my career as an athlete, just as a person, just going through the years. I mean, there's been times where it's been good, and there's been times when it's been 
uh, you know, not so good. And it's just kind of keeping that consistent level of, of uh, work and, and consistent uh, attitude every, every day. Is there a, uh, could be on your team or a guy you went up against, who's a guy that you loved? Or maybe he was annoying. You didn't love him. Uh, but brought out the best in you when you played against him. Yeah. Uh, for me, it was Tristan Wirtz, one of our right tackle of Iowa, man. He's, he's a good player. I mean, he's big, athletic. He's smart. Um, all those things. And it was just an honor, I mean, for me to be able to compete with him for a couple of years and, and just get better. And, and, you know, we just really, we pushed each other and right. we had respect for each other. But, yeah, we, we pushed each other to be, become better players every day. Right. Uh, Big Ten. Obviously, right? Uh, uh, maybe an opponent that you went up against in the Big Ten that, uh, again, kind of just brought out the best in you or just you really respect this game. You think yeah. he's going to be a great player in the NFL someday? Um, Edwards from uh, Wisconsin. We played a couple of years. David Edwards, tackle? Yep. yep. Yeah. Really he, good? Yeah, he's really good. And, and we played a couple of years against each other. So, you know, playing against each other multiple times. And, and uh, I mean, he's a good player. And, and just having that battle be, be a couple games series Kevinsky's or whatever. Yeah. yeah. You know, definitely, yeah. definitely yeah. respects him. And he, you know, he's a he's an athletic guy. He's a hardworking guy, and he's tough. And he and he he came he kept going and uh, brought it every play. No doubt. At Iowa, there's two guys yeah. right now that are both getting some serious buzz as first round guys. Noah Faint, yeah. obviously, T.J. Hawkinson. Talk to me. Just give me a quick little breakdown of why those guys are so special. Why they're being talked about in the first round, yeah. and why you know how fun it was to play with them. Oh yeah, I mean it was awesome playing with them. They're I mean they're great teammates. Like they're they push each other. And yeah. You know, they helped each other and pushed each other at the same time. And, um, you know, there's, I mean, there's extremely motivated blockers and, and they're uh, dynamic in the pass game. I mean, they can make plays all over or they can pancake you. I mean, that's just a, I mean, that's why they're getting considered yeah. first rounders because they deserve it and, and they can make, do both things uh, extremely well. Hawkinson's got some film that you watch and he looks like a tackle almost. I mean, with some of these blocks. It, who's the better blocker between the two, Hawkinson or, or Noah? Both good, I, I know, but both good. I can't pick, man. I mean, you pick your poison. I mean, pick your poison. They're, they're both. I mean, you might as well flip a coin, and, and, and whatever one you get is good because I mean, there's they're both to me extremely, extremely good blockers. I was gonna ask you who's the better pass catcher then, but I'm assuming you're gonna give me the same kind of answer. They're both kind of equally yeah, give you. They, that they same. both have an unbelievable hands in practice. They make one-handed catches, doing crazy stuff, jumping over guys, all that's Like, I mean, they do it all. I mean, they, they both. I mean, it's it's. They're so good, I can't, I can't even, like, separate. I can't really separate them. You played with two guys that were down here as well, Desmond King, defensive back in the Big Ten of the year, and uh, Josh Jackson. Yeah. Watching them in the NFL now and already their success, mm -hmm. how happy does that make you? And, 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 again, how fun was that to play with kind of some special players? Yeah, right? I mean, yeah, they were special players and special special guys. I mean, yeah. they, they, brought, they were fun to have around the locker room. They were supportive. I mean, um, and then they worked hard. I mean, they set the tempo every day, you know, and, and then the success doesn't really surprise me because of that fact. I mean, they came in and worked every day. Right. Um, so, I, I, you know, I just expected them to continue that and continue their success in, in the NFL. From Minnesota, cover the Vikings. Chad Greenway uh, was a first-round pick from Iowa. Uh, is, is he, um, you know, is there a picture on the wall of Greenway? You guys ever, does he get, ever get brought up or talked about? I know a lot of great players can't come from Iowa. Um, but does Chad Greenway kind of have a little legacy in the Iowa building at all anywhere? Yeah, for sure. I mean, he does. We, we got uh, all, like, the national award winners and uh, guys with uh, Pro Bowls and all that yeah. successful in NFL yeah. careers up. And uh, yeah, I mean, he's got he's got his spot, but he's, he's you know he's right up there with all the other uh, you know greats that, that have come from Iowa, and and I mean they're all talked about in, in high regard, and, and I mean they were they were good, and they, they worked hard for it. You got the day off. What do you enjoy doing? Hobbies? Uh, you like just chilling out and resting a little bit? Netflix, HBO? Yeah. What do you get into? Uh, yeah, I mean I just like Coney's relaxing, now. man. Uh, Podium As three. athletes, we're working all the time, so right. getting back and relaxing, you know, uh, you know, go swimming, go go hang out.